Hi, welcome to MCTV's coverage of Girls High School Golf. My name is Ron Beacom, volunteer here with Travis McCurdy, also a volunteer. Travis has been the Sports Information Director at Northwood University for the past 18 years. I'm a retired uh, television manager from MCTV helping out today. We're here at the Dow High Invitational Midland Country Club on Monday, September 21st. There are 14 teams here from the area, but also even down in the Detroit area playing on a beautiful day. Travis, uh, I understand your handicap's about a four, so you, you know how to play the game of golf. Talk about the conditions the girls are seeing today and the challenges they're gonna have on this course. Well, conditions for a high school golf match are incredible. I, mean, I know myself, we played a lot of 30 to 40 degree days, so to get a day like this is awesome. Uh, course, as always, is in immaculate conditions, one of the highlights of Midland Country Club. Uh, I did see the greens were somewhat recently aerated, so they're not going to be as blazing fast as they might be, but they're still going to be plenty quick and they're still in really good shape. And the focus of our coverage today is we're not going to give you a blow by blow of each shot, but a good overview of the two programs. We're going to meet girls from each team and we plan to also talk to the coaches. What we want to do now though is Travis is going to give you a good look at the signature hole here at the Midland Country Club and where our cameras are going to be, number 18. Our featured hole for coverage today will be the 18th here at the Midland Country Club. It is the signature hole out here. Not often you can have a hole like that that's under 150 yards even from the tips, but that's what the 18th hole at the Midland Country Club is. Today for the players that will be playing right about 100 yards, the pin is in a very accessible location right in the middle of the green. It's a hole that you really got to use your brain and not your heart because you're going to stand there and look on the tee and see a lot of water that surrounds the green, but your mind has to set in and tell you, the green is 100 feet wide and 100 feet deep, that you've got room to miss. You don't have to hit a perfect shot to end up with a good shot on this hole. The drop area is over the green, next to the green, so it won't be as bad if players hit in the water, but it's the kind of hole that really you could see some great scores and see some bad scores, but that's what happens here on the 18th here at Midland Country Club. Thanks, Travis, for that overview of 18. We've got him on the move. Next up, he's going to interview the coaches of the two teams from Midland High and Dow High. Hi, we're here with John Gaynow, the coach of the Midland High golf team. And coach, a uh, beautiful day here today. Talk about your season so far up to this point. Well, we've we got our last match on Thursday. We're going to do the pre-valley, which was scheduled to be our first match tomorrow because it got rained out. And then we have championship valley next, next week on Monday. And so we got three events this week. How uh, how you feel about how your team has progressed throughout this season? Well, we've got some challenges. We're not at the top of the list, but uh, we have some girls that can really hit the ball. I've got a freshman, Lindsay Decro, who uh, who's I think going to be very good when she's a senior. Uh, Natalie Gafke is my number one player. Um, hits the ball real hard, just sometimes doesn't hit it where she wants to. Um, and we got some other girls who are learning. When you get ready to play Midland Country Club, obviously being a Midland person, you played here before. What was your message to your team about coming out here and playing today? Have fun. Hit the ball. Don't worry about the other girls and what they're doing. There's some good teams here, some really good players, and, and my girls get intimidated sometimes by that. But, you know, just have a good time. Try to focus on every shot. We are, our featured hole is 18. We'll see a lot of coverage of that. And... I'm always curious about how a coach handles a hole like that. Do you talk about it with your team beforehand and maybe plot some strategies? Or you just say, don't want to get in their head and just let them go play? I don't get into their business too much. They get nervous when I'm watching them, so I just try <laughs> to stay away. Sometimes I go up to them and tell them, take an extra club like on four, it's playing long into the wind, and they may under club by two or three clubs. But generally, I'm just watching unless they beckon me or something. Well, that sounds good, Coach. Uh, thanks for joining us. I uh, really appreciate it, and uh, good luck this today and the rest of the season. Thank you. Welcome back. We're here with Dow coach Doug Bradford talking about his season and today's tournament. And Doug, uh, pretty far into the year now, how do you feel like your team's performed this year? Uh, we're, we're a younger team. We're in a little inexperienced going in, but we've been getting better. The last few times out, we've had some kids have some of their personal best scores. Uh, Paige 
Bernard, who's a sophomore for us, uh, posted the best 48 the other day. Uh, Abby Yeiter, our, our junior, our number one player, has been playing have a nice year. Uh, the other girls have, have improved and staying steady, so we're trying to make nice progress as we end the season and go into the final part of it. And we head into regionals here in about two weeks from tomorrow, actually, yeah. we play regionals. And we're here at the Midland Country Club, obviously yeah. being Midland, it's a course we all know fairly well. Yeah. What are you looking? What have you? What did you tell your team about coming and playing this course today? Uh, basically, our, our philosophy this year is play and have fun. Try to try to beat your best score and enjoy enjoy a beautiful day. You know, we ended up with nice weather, which we don't always, <laughs> and then a beautiful golf course. And we're and we're fortunate. We get to play a lot of good courses. We have Curry, who who they've done a fantastic job getting that back in shape Absolutely. after the flood. And that's you know we play there, we play here. This week they have a nice. They get to play here. They play at the Fortress, and then Thursday they play at the Polecat. So pretty nice track for, for kids to go play. That's not a bad hat trick there. No. Um, one thing I was curious about when for like the 18th hole, yes. it's a signature hole, yeah. but it's also a hole we're featuring on our coverage. Yeah. But how do you approach that as a coach with your team? Do you talk about it? Do you think about it? Do you mention it? Do you not mention it? It's kind of a, it's a, you could, it's a darned if you do, darned right. if you do, or whatever. I, I usually don't mention it. I just okay. they let them go up. They know it's here. They know it exists. Uh, they've all played here some, and they've had success on it, and they've had failure. Right? <laughs> I wouldn't say failure, but they where they've hit in the pond or, or whatever. But we've had some girls hit some wonderful shots. My daughter here last year uh, had a tap in birdie. who just missed a hole awesome. and one uh, on it last year. So she has a nice memory of it. So hopefully she can, you know, she's not going to duplicate that, but she'd like <laughs> to, I'm sure. Uh, but, yeah, so we just kind of go in, and, and I try to tell the kids to enjoy the day and enjoy the course and enjoy the kids that they're playing with and get to know other kids from other places. So, Well, Coach, sounds great. Good luck today and good luck the rest of the season. All right, thank you. My name's Natalie Gaffke, I'm a senior, and I've been playing golf for four years. So tell me about playing the 18th hole today. What club did you pick? Um, I picked my gap wedge because it's about 100 yards, and it ended up pretty good. And then I had two putts for par. Nice. So what parts of your game have you been working on this far? Definitely my short game is what I need to work on the most. Why do you enjoy playing golf? Um, my sisters got me into it, so it's kind of just like a little competition with them now. And overall, how did the day go for you? It could have gone better, but I still ended up with a 94, so it's pretty good. Uh, I'm Abigail Wilson. I'm a sophomore, and I've been playing golf for three years, I think. So tell us about playing 18. What was the club you selected? How'd it go for you? Um, I chose a 9-iron, and I was kind of debating between 9-iron and pitching wedge, and then I ended up going over the green, so I probably should have chosen a pitching wedge. But I ended up, it looked really good at the, like at the start, but then it just ended up rolling over into the green in the sand trap. And then I couldn't get out of the sand trap the first time. So on the second time I did, and then I two put, and I ended up with a five. <laughs> So what are you working on in your game this fall? Um, a lot of chipping and putting. Those are kind of like the hardest things and the most important things. What do you enjoy about playing golf? Um, I really like the atmosphere and like all the friends I have on the team. And it's really like a community and all the girls are so nice. And overall, how did your day go today? How was it out there? Um, I did pretty good today. This is my like home course, so I play here a lot. And I think I did really well for myself. I'm Emily Sesterich. I'm a junior and I've played golf for about three years. How'd 18 go for you today? What was the club you used and how'd you end up doing? Um, I used a seven iron and I ended up in the water, but I got to drop and it was, it was all right. Got a five, not too bad. So what have you been working on in your game this year? Um, a lot with my driver and my irons. I've been trying to fix my driver, not going right so much. 
What do you enjoy about playing golf? Um, I get to get outside and it's a challenge, you know, it's a hard game. And overall, how'd you do today? How'd you feel about your game? Um, I think I did pretty good for such a hard course, you know. Uh, my name is Paige Bernard. I'm a sophomore and I've played golf for four years. So how did you approach 18? What was the club you used? How'd it go? Um, I used my 9-iron. It didn't go as planned. I hit it off the toe, so I ended up going in the water. But other than that, it went well. well what are you working on in your game this fall? Uh, short game, so chipping and putting. Trying to get away from like three putts and more two and one putts. What do you enjoy about playing golf? Um, I enjoy the, like, all the relationships that you build, so like all the friendships and everything, everyone's just so nice and kind that you meet and play with. And how did your day go today? How would you evaluate how you played, how it went? Um, I didn't play my best today, but it went really well. The girls I played with were super nice, so it was super fun and nice. Rachel Applegate, I'm a senior, and this is my fourth year playing golf. So what club did you use in 18, and how did that go today? On hole number 18, I shot a nine iron, and it hit the very edge and rolled into the water. What are you working on in your game this year? I am working on my drives and my short game. What do you enjoy about playing golf? I like that it's a lifetime sport, and I know that I can play it for the rest of my life, I hope so. And when you look back on today, how'd it go for you? Um, I think it went okay. Things could have been better, but things could have been worse, I think. Erica Ludwig, <laughs> grade 11 and seven years. So what club did you use in 18? How did it go for you today? Well, I used a seven iron and I almost made it past the water but it just barely fell short so that was pretty disappointing so what part of your game are you working on this fall probably my short game i need to work on putting <laughs> and also with my driver too so what do you enjoy about playing though well i like how it makes me feel when i'm on the golf course it's just so calm and relaxing <laughs> I'm Lindsay Decro and I am in ninth grade and I've been playing golf for about eight years. So what was the club you used on 18? How'd it go for you? I used a pitching wedge and I got a par, or I got par, so I got a three and it went pretty good. So what are you working on in your game this year? I'm definitely working on my short game just so I can get it into the hole better. What do you enjoy about playing golf? Um, I enjoy just like it's kind of relaxing being outside and and overall how did your day go how did you shoot um i shot pretty well it wasn't my best game but it was definitely a better game than normal okay i'm abby yeider i'm a junior and i've been playing golf since i was about 10. So tell me the club you selected for 18 and how did 18 go for you? Um, I used my 8 iron and 18 was not my best hole. I think I cracked under the pressure. Um, so it was not good, but that's okay. <laughs> so what are you working on in your game this year? Um, I've been working on my irons a lot and they've definitely improved since the start of the season. Um, but I'm still working on just the my aim, and just hitting more greens. What do you enjoy about playing golf? Um, I just love like playing with like my friends and family. I create a lot of memories during golf and um, I just like getting better and like every time I go out I always have like goals for myself and then when I accomplish them it just feels good. And how did your day go overall when you look back on Um, overall it was not my best round. Um, I have a match tomorrow so I'm going to try to improve tomorrow but um, I've played better. It's definitely not my best round this season. but. Okay. <laughs>
Kendall Gray. I'm a senior and it's my second year playing golf. So what club did you use on 18? How'd that hole go for you today? I used my seven iron on that hole and I slammed it in the water because I went too far right. And it was my worst par three of the day, but <laughs> could have been worse. Uh, what parts of your game are you working on now? Um, my driver because I keep slamming it really far right, but I can usually get myself out of like trouble when I do that. But that's mostly what I'm working on. What do you enjoy about playing golf? Mm, I like it because I get to play with my family and my friends. And overall, how'd you think of it? I actually did pretty good. I Both my individual scores were in the 50s, so I was pleased with that. My name's Anna Bradford. I'm 17 and I'm a senior in high school and I've been playing since my freshman year. So what club did you use in 18 and how did 18 go for you? Can I talk about a different hole than 18? What hole would you like to talk about? Um, on hole 15, I think it was a par four. I parred that hole. That was yeah. a good hole. So what are you working on in your game this year? Um, I've been really working on like my short game and my putting and chipping. What do you enjoy about playing golf? Uh, I really like just being like with my teammates and having fun and it's just like a lot of fun playing golf. And how did your day go when you look back on it today? Um, it went okay. I feel like I wanted to do better than I did, but overall I'm not like too upset about my score. We hope you've enjoyed our coverage of girls high school golf here on MCTV. We cover the Midland High and Dow High girls teams here at the Dow High Invitational at the Midland Country Club. So our thanks to both coaches of the schools and the girls who appeared on our show. Lots of sports coming up this fall on MCTV and MPS TV. There's girls uh, swimming, volleyball, boys soccer, football, now that everything's opened up again in terms of sports with some restrictions. So make sure, sure to check out MPS TV and MCTV. Also check out their website because the programs will also be available online. I want to thank our crew today, production director Matt Thomas, production assistant over there Chris Ferguson, production assistant Jim Malik, the manager of MCTV Matt Richardson, and my fellow announcer today Travis McCurdy, the sports information director at Northwood University. So again, thanks for tuning in.